Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about how to build an email list using Action Network. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is log into our Action Network account on actionnetwork.org and my credentials are already saved. Uh, so this is what my landing page looks like and yours probably looks similar and I'm going to go to my group um, Lights Out Norlight because that's the community group that I manage and I just want to give you a more realistic picture of what this can look like for a small uh, community-based organization that works locally. Um, so I'm not going to use the Beyond Plastics account as the example. So this is what my homepage looks like and you can see here the size of our list. Um, we started in July of 2020 and in three years, we've built a list with almost 6,000 people on it, which is pretty good. And these are the people that we are um, mobilizing to you know, make phone calls, sign petitions, submit comments, write letters when the time comes. Um, so it's important to distinguish that an action network email list is not for your internal organizing purposes. So this isn't where you're going to be sending like your monthly meeting information, for example. This is where you're going to be mobilizing people. And uh, the reason for that is when you send an email through Action Network, um, each individual gets their own email. You cannot reply all. And you really don't want to invite all of these people to your uh, meetings because they're not all going to come. Um, so these email lists are built from events that you might have where you get um, sign-ons, uh, like people sign up to learn more. Maybe you have a sign up for our email list button on your Facebook page. Um, maybe you do some door-to-door -door canvassing or door-to-door -door petition signatures and people click on their email and then you can add them to this list. So this is, I'm gonna show you now when you have um, a list like that that you have either collected online through a Google form or if you've collected it on a paper form, how to get that list onto Action Network. So at the top bar, um, you're going to select people and then you're going to go to uploads and press the little plus sign. You can also see your, your list of uploads. You can see view all, but the plus sign is adding a new upload. And it wants it uploaded as a CSV file or a comma separated value file. Um, and this is what the actual upload form looks like. So let's just go through this step by step. Um, so I'm going to click here for the sample file. And I'm going to open that up. You can see I've downloaded this <laughs> seven times now. Um, and this is what their sample file looks like. So this is, this top header here are the form field options. You can add custom field options, but I'm not going to cover that today. Um, but this is the order that they want them in and or the, that this is the order that Action Network wants them in. And also this is the um, terms that Action Network wants you to use. So this needs to be exact. Um, and it says here they have um, they have some notes on this CSV file. So if you have questions, read the notes. But email address or mobile number is required. So you can have just their first name and their email address and you can upload them, but you need to have one of those two things. Um, a zip code also is really, really preferred. So anytime you're collecting, um, anytime you're collecting signups, whether in person or online, always ask for the first and last name, their email, their mobile phone. And I usually ask for their full address, but you can just ask for their zip code as well. Okay, so going back to this sample file here, these are, oops, sorry, these are just some example names that they have, John Doe and Jane Smith. You see they have their email, their zip code. Um, and then the rest of these fields are optional, but um, you can fill out as many as you have. If you have a, for, a tag, for example, like I have a tag in my 
um, action network for reporters and also for government officials. So you can add that tag there and it will automatically, action network will automatically add those activists to that tag list, um, but that's totally optional. Um, so let's talk about how to make this CSV file. So you can simply download this sample file and delete these um, examples that they have in here. And then if you're typing from a piece of paper, um, like let's say if you collected a paper petition, you can just manually enter all of this information, just like so. You know, and so on and so forth down the line, however many people have signed your petition or your or your sign up form, enter them manually and then save your file. And then you can upload it this way. So I'll show you quickly how to upload it. So the upload title, um, you can refer back to these uploads when you're writing emails. So for example, if this is a petition that you're uploading, people who signed a certain petition, you can title it that petition. That way, if you in the future want to only email this group of people, that will come up in the targeting options for your email. You can select just this upload uh, to email rather than your full email list. So whatever you title this, just be clear about what this cohort of people is. Um, so I'm going to just call this sample upload petition from August 18th, because that's today's date. And then if you have any tags you want to add, you can do that as well. Um, and then we're going to upload, we're going to select our file here. Open that. There it is. And then you would click upload and match fields. Now these, um, I never use these, um, but um, you can do this for kind of um, some higher level like list management. You see it has options like unsubscribe activists from the email list who have the upload file. So for example, if these are people who are already on your email list, but you want to remove them, you can upload them as a CSV file and select this option and it will unsubscribe them. Um, you can delete activists using an upload, but just be aware. I doubt you'll need to use these options, but you can read through these in the future and also read through all of these tips that they have here. So now let's talk about how to do a CSV file from a Google Sheet. So let's say you've done a Google form and you've turned it into a spreadsheet like what I have here. This is just an example. Um, you need to get the headers, like let's say this is the info you've collected from your form. You need to get these to match what's in the sample file. Um, so I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this from Action Network's sample file. And I'm gonna go insert one row above and I'm just gonna paste the fields in there. Um, now you can see it roughly lines up. Actually, it lines up perfectly except for the state. Let's see. So we've skipped address. So I'm going to delete address. Wait, no, I'm going to leave address blank. And I'm going to move these under the state header. We can delete this row. We don't need this anymore. And I'm going to move the cities over and I'm just going to leave address blank. Perfect. Um, so you might have to do some doodling, maneuvering, um, manipulating to get all the fields to match up. And then you're just going to download this as your, as a comma separated value. So you go to file, download, and this, these are the options that you can download it as. And I'm going to do it as a CSV file, comma separated value. There it is in my folder. So here it is. So now I'm going to go 
I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna go back to my uploads, start a new upload. Browse for a file, downloads. And there's my sample sheet. And then I'm gonna give this a title. Uh, maybe I, these were attendees at an event. And then I'm going to click upload and match fields. Now I'm not actually going to click upload because I don't want to add these to my actual email list, but I will show you what it looks like when you upload. So what you'll get here are all the uploads I've done in the past on this Action Network account, the dates that they were uploaded and the progress. So um, the upload is success when you see this little 100%. And if it's if there's an error, this will be red. Um, and you'll know that there's an issue with, usually the issue is with your CSV file if the upload doesn't work. Um, either the, the columns aren't in the correct order or there's a problem with the header. So you might have to go back to your CSV file and just follow those instructions really carefully. Um, the total is the number of emails that are on that list that you uploaded, and then it'll tell you how many are new. So if there are any activists on the list who are on the list on your upload who are already in Action Network on your list, it will not create a new activist. It will merge any data and it will tell you how many new emails you've got and how many new mobile numbers you've got. So that is how to upload using Action Network. Um, and it's very straightforward. And um, I hope that this was really helpful for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're always here to assist. So thanks for watching and we'll have more Action Network videos in the future.